Let me turn now and finally to the issue of schools and nurseries. On that, as on everything else, I want to be as open and transparent as possible. My view uh, is that it is now inevitable that we will close schools and nurseries. Uh, and my planning assumption now is that schools will close to pupils at the end of this week. And I wanted today to give parents notice of that now. There are two key drivers of that view. First is the science. SAGE, our expert scientific advisors, are examining new advice uh, literally as we speak. I expect that that is likely uh, to tell us to close schools. Secondly, we have the reality on the ground. As people do the right thing and follow the advice to self-isolate or to isolate as a household, more and more schools are approaching a point where they have lost too many staff to continue as normal. We are uh, working closely with schools uh, and tomorrow the Deputy First Minister will set out in a statement to Parliament the arrangements we are putting in place. In particular, he will address key questions that I know parents, pupils and teachers will have, including what this will mean for vulnerable pupils, those receiving free school meals, because we must not cut adrift vulnerable children. Secondly, what this means for pupils taking their exams this year, because we will not blight the life chances of our children. And crucially, what this means for key workers. We must ensure that our doctors, nurses and other critical staff can still work. Lives are on the line if they cannot.